Hello folks, uh, this is here's a video on how to set up your launch pad to connect to Sporadic Net's login server and to be able to connect to all of our other game servers. Uh, first of all, you click the launch pad enhance icon that you get after installing the launch pad enhance, which is right here. After you're loaded up, first thing that you need to do is come down here to servers and click that and then you'll click add. Under the server name you can call this whatever you like it's just so that you'll know which server you're connecting to. Uh, for this video we're just going to call it sporadic net uh, since that's who we're actually connecting to at this time. The address can be either the direct IP to the login servers or uh, you can use the host name. We have provided a, a simple host name for our login server so you don't have to remember a bunch of strange numbers. Uh, so our um, host name is just login.sporadicnet.net. Uh, just remember that .net is the proper one. .com is the website name, yes. However, .net is to our network server. So everything is .net that has to do with uh, everything for the server which would be, you know, IRC servers, um, you know, anything that's um, communication, I guess. Your port number is going to be 44453, which is the standard default for login servers. Uh, I would believe most people are going to use that anyway. So, and for this case, we're just going to leave it at 44453, the default. Uh, advanced options, right now, we do not use anything advanced at this time. Uh, we're not a custom server. We're straightforward uh, um, standard SWG. So at this point you can just click add and once you click that you are completely done with actually adding the server. Here at the top of the address bar you have a list of servers. You can click down on it and when it loads up you will see sporadic net. You just select that. You'll see the bar load here. Uh, it's really fast and then from here you just click play and you're on your way. Okay, here at the login screen, uh, currently Spraticnet does not require your login to match your board logins. You just create one right here. The first time you enter in a username and password, it's going to record that, and that's how, the one that you will use from this point on out until version 1.0 is released. Uh, after that, you're good to go to play the game, and enjoy!